I wanted to print a new vise for holding circuit boards, and I wanted to do it fast. So I printed one on the Bamboo X1 and one on the Creality K1. And I got two different results when it came to this handle. This one was so much better than this one. Is it a better printer or is it a better slicer? Let's talk about it on today's Filmit Friday. This video is brought to you by PCBWay.com. This video is also brought to you by my Patreon supporters. I've had this vise on my channel several times. It's from the user the Goofy on Thingiverse. They're great for holding circuit boards and I wanted another one. Now this one took six hours printed on two printers. I wanted to see how fast I could print it on one of these fast printers. I printed one on the Bamboo X1, sliced it in Bamboo Studio, and it said it would take a little over five hours to print. The other one was on the Creality K1. I sliced that in the Creality Slicer and it said a little over five hours to print. Both prints were successful and both took a little over five hours to print. But one area I noticed the difference was in the handle. It's really smooth on the bamboo version and it's kind of rough on the Creality version. Those vices contain my longer handle and printed straight up like this. So instead I printed the original smaller handle in the same position. And the one on the bamboo came out a heck of a lot smoother than the one on the Creality. In fact, the one on the Creality looks worse than the vice print. So the first thing you think, this is a better printer than this one. But it's the same file with the same filament, but two different slicers. I decided to just take the output from Bamboo Studio and run it on the K1. And so I exported a file and it said it would export as a .g code. So I renamed it handle test .g code. And then I saved it. But it saved it as a .3mf file. It's .g code, but .3mf. But I thought, okay, that still should work. So I put it on a USB drive, stuck it in the K1. It went through its motions, but then I got this unknown exception error. Okay, that's not going to work. Now I know a .3MF is a zip file actually, so I changed it to .zip and then unzipped it and here's what's inside. All these folders. And when I went into the metadata folder, I found the actual G code. It says, okay, let's put that on a USB drive. So I ran that, but then I get a coordinates error. So I'm like, that's right, the bed sizes are different. So I made a copy of the bamboo profile. And then I renamed that to Creality K1 0.4 nozzle. And there's no way that I can find to adjust the bed area. But then it occurred to me that Bamboo Studio has a Creality profile in it. Now the Ender 3 build area is exactly the same as the K1. So I decided to take the G code from the Ender 3 profile here in Bamboo Studio and just copy all the start G code and then go back to the K1 and paste that in over the top of the X1 G code that's in there. And then once I did that, I went back and did it again for the NG code. So I saved the K1 file and it now has the G code from the under three. So I used that new K1 profile that I just created and I sliced it again. And it said 54 minutes, so it's getting the fast speed. I exported the file and I gotta go through all this again. It says it's gonna be a G code file I changed it to a .zip, unzipped it, went to that metadata, got the G code file, renamed it, and then I'm going to put that on a USB drive and try this all again. And this time it worked. And what a difference. The one on the left is the one sliced with Bamboo Studio. The one on the right is the original Creality print sliced. What a difference a slicer makes. And now using the same slicer, this is X1 versus K1. K1 still got a little bit over extrusion. But overall, these things are almost identical. So it's amazing what improvement you can get on the same machine with just a different slicer. Now if I compare the K1 to the X1 with the exact same slicer and profile, well the X1 is still a little bit better than the K1, but remember that profile is tuned to this machine. If I adjust the K1 profile to get rid of that little bit of over extrusion, I can make this just as smooth. So really, is it a better machine? Or is it just that it's got a better slicer? As I've said many times in this channel, before you do anything to your Ender 3, just learn how to use it and learn how to use the slicer. Learn the settings. Learn how to get a good profile working. You'll get better prints from a good slicer and good profile than you would from any modification you make to your 3D printer. And this just proves it again. Two different machines with the same slicer giving me essentially the identical results. You know what I find ironic about all this? 
because this is a closed source machine, closed source firmware, closed source hardware. Basically the whole thing is closed source except for the slicer. They rely on the open source community, specifically Prusa Slicer, which is based on Slick 3R, open source slicers. That's what's underneath the Bamboo Studio slicer. So they're relying on open source slicing. And now I've proved if you take that same open source slicer and use it on this machine, you get almost identical results. So what Creality needs to do, clearly, is dump their slicer and switch to the Prusa Slicer. Even better, there's Orca Slicer out there, which is a clone of the Bamboo Studio interface, and it's based on Prusa Slicer. So they're going to open the source this in September, the firmware. That's what they're saying. What a perfect time to release it with a new slicer based on Orca Slicer and Prusa Slicer. And then we should be able to get the same quality prints from an open source machine as we are from a closed source machine. I'll put a link to this vice in the description below so you can use it with your circuit boards. And speaking of circuit boards, check out PCBWay.com. I use their circuit board service all the time. You can get 10 pieces for $5 plus shipping. You also can get low cost assembly services. And if you don't want circuit boards, you can get CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, or injection molding. And it's so easy to work with them. You just go to their instant quote page, you upload your Gerber file, and then you tell them all the features that you want on your board, and you'll get an instant quote. So I highly recommend them. I use them for my designs. Check out PCBWay.com. So if you got one of these K1s or K1 Max, see if you can recreate what I did. See if you get the same results. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way, or a membership at things.com. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.